Hey guys, I noticed there is no good YouTube tutorial on how to use ProPresenter on a PC to control an ATEM, so I figured I'll make one. Now, I'm going to show you how to use MIDI from ProPresenter to control an ATEM. However, this will also apply to using MIDI for other things, like using it from Ableton to control Companion, or some people use Multitracks playback. You can use it to control Companion and push buttons in Companion, which will make sense in a moment. So. First off, we need two things. We need two softwares, that'd be Loop MIDI and BitFocus Companion, which is going to be the, uh, the big communicator between everything. So, they are both free online. Let's start with Loop MIDI. Just search for Loop MIDI. You'll find a download button. I've already got it downloaded here. It's not hard to download. And then let's head over to bitfocus.io. So, let's, uh, if you just go to bitfocus.io, here we go. We are looking for Companion. However, you will need to sign in. So, if you don't have an account, sign up. It's free, it just takes your email address. I've already got an account here, I'm gonna sign in. Login, ta-da. And we are looking specifically for Companion. Ignore the other things for now. So, we want to download Companion, and you need at least, I think it's version 2.41 is where Dan Owen introduced the MIDI support for this thing. So we're going to download it for Windows, and I've already got it downloaded here. Now we're going to start, so let's get rid of you. Now let's start by installing this. So we'll close that out. Yeah, we don't need Probe Center for now. And let's start with Loop MIDI here. Ta-da! We're going to install this thing. Yes, we want all of that. Yes, we've read it and agree to it. Now, it will open up here, the, oh, and it just runs in the background. It's quite simple. It's modeled after um, the, the audio MIDI setup on Mac. So he basically looked at the Mac setup and tried to make it fairly similar. So it is pretty straightforward. We don't really care about any of the other things in here. And you'll also notice that it's now running down in the bottom corner here. So we'll let that run in the background. Let's head back to Downloads, and we're going to install Companion. This thing it has a few more options. I just uninstalled it fully, so hopefully I can show you guys all the options that you care about. We'll let it install here, and we're going to run the thing. Now, first time it runs, it should ask a bunch of questions. Let's run it on here, and we'll launch the GUI. Now, the GUI, the control for this thing, is actually using a web browser. So we'll just open up Edge or Chrome or whatever you're using here. Ah, oh, rats, it didn't do it. Oh well. So, when you first open it, it will have a bunch of options to click through. Just click through them. Um, use your brain, don't put a admin password on it, and you will ultimately get to this, where it'll be asking, let's delete these so I can actually show you what it's looking like. This is what you should see, and you're gonna want two things for controlling an ATEM. First off, you're gonna want Pro Presenter, Renewed Visions Pro Presenter, and if you scroll down here, we specifically want the MIDI listener. This is the same thing that all you other guys who are wanting to use this for Ableton or whatever else. This is the part that you care about. You don't care anything about Pro Presenter. However, you do care about this part, which is built into it. And the port, the MIDI port name is this right here, Loop MIDI port. So, oops, Loop. I can type, really. There we go, and let's save. All right, now, and to control an ATEM, let's also add in a Blackmagic ATEM. I'm gonna give it a dummy IP address here. And let's, uh, it shouldn't really matter at all, let's pretend it's an ATEM Mini here. I don't actually have an ATEM Mini connected, but this will still work to show you guys. So, this here is where you connect companion to whatever softwares or hardwares you care about. You can connect to a crazy amount of things, like soundboards, but let's not dwell on that. Now, for actually controlling this thing, we're going to head over to buttons. So, I've got one page here where I've already put in my ATEM one, and it does a couple of things. First off, it just, when I do a test press, you'll notice that it changes the color to red. That way we just know that it's working. And then if, and then we can add in something. Let's add in the ATEM here. 
and let's say we want to set the program to run on input 2 now so that we control the thing you click a button in probe center and it also changes what's going to broadcast test press and just like that and that's the basics of what we are looking for here now now let's actually connect the thing so I need probe center I'm currently running 7.13. I think it's the beta for one actually. Either the beta or uh, or it's just 7.13. Doesn't matter a lot. And we're going to connect it to MIDI. Now, on Probe Center for Mac, it's got a ton of device options. Here, there's on PC, there's only MIDI. So we're going to use MIDI for settings. Oh, look at that! It auto populates. Now let's connect them both. We if you're just using Probe Center to send out to control the ATEM or companion or whatever else, you just need the destinations. But let's turn them both on because we can. And that's it. Now if we connect, bam. If you are not seeing this, or if you're not seeing Loop MIDI as an option, make sure that Loop MIDI is in fact running here. And again, it's in the bottom there. You should see it. But just like that, we have this connected to and sending out MIDI. Now, I've got a little macro here. So let's add an action. Specifically, we're going to add a communication action from MIDI, which will be a note on. Now, if you look on pro on um, companion, you'll see there's little buttons 1.2, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Note is the page number, which is the one, and intensity is where you set which button you want to go. So for this, we want it to be 1.2, which will be that button, and this should. Hmm, this should be blinking it. Well, let's take a look and see what's wrong with it. So, if we click this, you'll see that we do have throughput going here. Now, I wonder if I set up something wrong in here. I bet there's a typo. Let's go to edit this thing. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. Oh, ah, there's a typo. Loop MIDI port with a capital P. Now that looks right. Let's try this again. We'll go into Perp Center. And if I did this right, there we go. As you can see, we now have Perp Center controlling an ATEM or whatever else we want in Companion. Again, for guys that don't use Perp Center, this will work the same for Ableton or Multitracks or whatever else you're using to send MIDI. That way you can have MIDI controlling Companion, ta-da! All right, now, one other thing for the Probe Center people specifically. Let's say that you want to have it where uh, the, uh, it changes on schedule, so every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Let's do it for 10 a.m. 10 a.m., you want it to change, and you just set it to be your macro in here, just like that. Now, you'll see it's got that little calendar icon, and every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., if you test it, it will do whatever you want. I used to have the first 10 minutes of the service scheduled fully with starting the stream and everything. That way, if a volunteer was running late, no one online would notice a thing. That there is how to do it. If there's any other questions, feel free to drop me a comment.